Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. You know, I'd like to put on an old favorite pair of earrings, but I think I'd look strange. You see, the one earring is fine, but the other is missing a piece. It fell off somewhere. I can't bring myself to throw the pair away, so I've decided to hold on to both earrings for now. It's okay, I don't have to wear these. I could always wear another pair because I have a lot of earrings. <laughs> In this lesson, we'll make sure you understand the difference between the words other and another. They both can refer to an addition, so we'll have to review when we use one and, well, not the other. <laughs> You see, if we have two things, two groups, two people, we can refer to one or the other. The other means the second one, the other one, like the other earring that belongs to this pair. If I choose another pair of earrings, they'll be different. The word another has two meanings, more or different. Maybe after this grammar video, you'll want to watch another. You can watch one more, one more lesson. And if you watch another video, it will likely be on another topic, a different topic. Notice how I can use another all alone, because it can be a pronoun. Watch another. You know what I'm referring to, another video. So I can also use another before a noun because another can function as a determiner. Watch another video. Also, we usually use another with a singular noun. I can talk about another video, but not another videos. However, I can talk about other videos. Other can be used with a singular or plural noun. Here's the good earring. The other earring is missing a piece. Sadly, my other earrings aren't as pretty as these. Notice how I used other after a possessive adjective. My other earrings. I can't do that with the word another. I can't say my another earring. Why? Other can be a pronoun, determiner, or an adjective. Not this one, but the other. Not you, I mean other people. Not that brother, it's my other brother. It gets a little tricky when we start using numbers and quantifiers. Look at the possible patterns. Number or quantifier plus other plus plural noun. I have many other videos. Three other videos are specifically on the parts of speech. Another plus number or quantifier plus plural noun. If you want a new grammar video, you'll have to wait another couple of weeks, maybe another three weeks. Not only is the word order different, but think about the difference in meaning. When I talk about my other videos, they're in a collection, so there's a limited number. There are a lot of them, but it's a limited number of videos. When I talk about needing another two weeks or another three weeks to make a new grammar video, there really isn't a limited number or a limited amount of time. I could add another day, and then another, and then another. <laughs> Remember the importance of the definite article, which helps us make a specific reference. When I talk about the other videos in my grammar playlist, it's a specific reference to the rest of the videos in that collection. Compare. Other grammar videos on YouTube may also be helpful. Other, without the definite article, is a reference to all the rest, all those videos outside my playlist, videos not included in my collection. Does that make sense? 
Let me give you some more examples. Have you ever heard about eating contests? The concept is funny and awful at the same time. There's one in New York called Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Contest, where people try to eat as many hot dogs as they can in 10 minutes. So you can watch a contestant eat a hot dog really fast, and then another, and then another, and then another. There's no limit. I think the record is like 60 or 70 hot dogs. A contestant might be thinking, yeah, I can eat another 20 hot dogs. Another, number, plural noun. So while one person is eating a lot of hot dogs, a couple dozen other contestants are doing the same thing. Number quantifier plus other plus plural noun. There's a limited number of contestants each year. If I know the exact number, I could use a different pattern, another pattern. You can focus on one contestant because the other 29 contestants are doing the same thing. The other plus number plus plural noun. I'm using the other to mean the rest, the rest of the people in that group, and it's a limited number of people. I'm not exactly sure. In my example, I used 30, so I think it's around there. We can focus on one or two and then talk about the rest, the rest of those contestants, the other 28, the other 27. Okay, well, just thinking about a hot dog eating contest can make you feel sick, right? So let's choose another topic, a different one. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my trip to Paris. I'd like you to complete my sentences with the correct words. One, we visited the Eiffel Tower soon after we arrived. There are two lines to buy tickets. One is for the elevator. The other is for the stairs. We chose the stairs. What a workout. Two, on our second day, Wednesday, we took a boat ride on the Seine and visited Petit Palais. Of course, there are many museums in Paris, so you may be tempted to say, oh, is that just another museum? But Petit Palais is worth visiting. It has a beautiful interior and interesting exhibits. Oh, and it's also free. <laughs> Three, at night we went up to the roof of Arc de Triomphe. We had seen the city from the Eiffel Tower, but this was another way to enjoy the city at night. Four. On Thursday, we spent the day at the Louvre. We couldn't see everything, but we did see the Mona Lisa. Everyone wants to see her. I think about a hundred other people were in the room with us trying to get a good look at Leonardo da Vinci's painting. Five, we fit in a trip to a glitzy department store called the Galerie Lafayette Haussmann. When you're in Paris, you can easily come up with one reason or another to go shopping. My kids wanted new sunglasses, and I needed some makeup. Six. 
6. It seemed like our days were full of one metro ride after another. One late night ride took us to Jason's home. Our families met for the first time. Seven. On Friday, we did quite a few things. We went to the famous Luxembourg Gardens. We relaxed and watched kids sail boats. We also visited the catacombs, which other people might find strange, but we appreciated the experience. Eight. On Saturday, we went to Versailles. It was beautiful. We saw as much as we could, but we'll have to return another time to see more. Nine. On Sunday, we had time for two excursions. First, we checked out the Opera House. The other tour required a lot more time. We visited the Army Museum, including Napoleon's tomb. Ten. There were a few other small trips we squeezed in. We managed to visit a lovely park called Parc de Bouchamont. Well, how did you do? Well, we can always practice more another time. That's all for now. Please remember to like and share the video if you found the lesson useful. Remember to subscribe and remember you can join as a YouTube member if you'd like to support my channel and join the monthly live stream. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies. I'd like to say a special thanks to a kind-hearted patron. Fake in DC pledged $2 a month. Thank you. And thank you to all my patrons on Patreon and all my YouTube members. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon. And don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube. Turn on those notifications.